Service to me is a, a sense of duty, a sense of citizenship. Uh, you have two choices. You can either do nothing or you can do something. And I chose to do something. Mercy Serves is a brand new AmeriCorps program that places service members in emergency departments all across the state of Ohio. Our goal is to provide screening, brief intervention, and referral to treatment for folks with uh, substance abuse issues that present in our ED. Any patient coming into our emergency department, whether they're there for a hangnail or an overdose, gets access to treatment if they need it. And then our core members are able to spend as long as they need to with that patient to make sure that they get the intervention and the referral to treatment that they need in order to be successful. About a month ago I had a patient who was in a car wreck and the screening that we're able to do um, the nurses don't normally do so the nurses weren't doing it at that time so I was able to go into the room and talk with him and um, just being very genuine and treating everyone like a human being. He actually opened up to me that he was homeless. He had had some past opiate use, and so getting that information to the doctor kind of helped them change um, what they were able to do for him at that point. Not just making sure that he got care, but understanding that he was going through a certain time where he needed that acute care, you know, getting into the hospital and making sure he had people who were gonna help him get the assistance he needed get into a shelter or whatever was needed the next step. Mercy has a long history of serving the community in really creative ways. And anytime we can bring a resource here to help supplement the amazing clinical care we provide and to deepen the impact we can have for the patients that we serve, we want to do that. We're always focused on critical community health. In this program, certainly we're able to introduce service members into a space like the emergency department and focus them on um, something as big as the opiate epidemic. Um, but what we get in return is an opportunity to watch these young people grow um, in their personal lives and in their professional careers. And there's not anything that's really more rewarding than that. My mother is actually an addict. I was raised by my grandma, my younger brother and I. So it's very personal to me. I've seen the struggles that she's gone through and the things she's put us through on the same end. And I would love to help prevent some family from having some little girl to have to go through some of the things that I had to see my mom go through. You're actually going to be making a difference in people's lives even if it's small. You're a part of change. You're changing the culture around this and I don't see why anybody wouldn't want to be a part of something like that. I think this program has really changed my thinking about addiction. I didn't know that much about it prior to this. Like I've known what like the media tells you before, but really meeting these people face to face has really made such an impact and I feel like it's made me more of a compassionate, empathetic person. It's very exciting that we're the first class of this program and we're kind of paving the way, seeing what works in this program. But my hopes for this program is that it just grows in the future, that it goes to more hospitals around the Cincinnati area or maybe even throughout the state. Also, I hope people recognize just the importance and power of having someone there listening to someone with an open heart, with an open mind. And that's a really powerful thing, just devoting your time to someone who's in a very vulnerable and desperate situation, just lending your ear. Also, I hope that there's more recognition of it through uh, local leaders, through state leaders, through the media, and just through people in the community because uh, the folks that we've interacted with, the patients, uh, whenever we tell them why we're there, oftentimes they're really grateful and they say, oh great, I'm glad someone is doing something about this crisis.